So it happened. What all Zelda fans feared and many expected, Breath of the Wild's upcoming sequel has been pushed back from the vague 2022 release date given at E3 2021 and is now aiming to release in Spring 2023. Obviously, delays are nothing new for the Zelda series, especially the 3D entries, and Spring 2023 isn't all too long to wait, so I'm not too upset. The delay was announced by series producer Aiji Aonuma in a clip just over a minute long, where we get another look at some footage from the game. Most is unfortunately just the same trailer from E3 2021, with Link paragliding and skydiving through the floating islands above Hyrule, but we also get this two tiny shots of Link turning towards a mysterious golden glow and pulling the Master Sword, which is looking a little worse for wear. Worse even than it was in its broken state following the Great Calamity, when it was entrusted to the Great Deku Tree by Zelda. No, this time, the sword really is broken. Half of the blade is gone. It looks like it's melted. We can see the original silver of the metal, then a yellowish brown, and then a dark blue on the most damaged areas, which looks smooth like liquid. The E3 2021 trailer showed Link's right arm, still holding the Master Sword, being swarmed with malice, which many people thought might be showing the destruction of the Blade of Evil's Bane, as we couldn't see it in the rest of the trailer. But here it is. It was Malice that damaged the Master Sword before the Great Calamity, which makes sense as Malice is the energy of Ganon, the direct opposite to the sword's sacred power. So perhaps it was Malice again that damaged it here. Just before Link draws the blade in the new footage, it pulses a bright blue. It's possible that this is Fee, the spirit of the Master Sword seen in Skyward Sword, who we know still exists by the time of Breath of the Wild. Both Zelda and Link are able to hear Fee at different points, signalled by the sword glowing and her sound effect playing. In many ways, Fee is the Master Sword, so judging by its damaged state in this shot, it would make sense for her to return and guide Link on a journey that revolves around restoring its power. Fee's glow and this new blue glow do look slightly different, however, so there might be a different reason for this pulsing in the sequel, though how the sword glows when she appears is somewhat inconsistent. In these new shots, we also get a closer look at Link's right arm. Again, this is the same arm that was attacked by Malice in the previous trailer, and for the rest of the time we see it, it's scarred with strange black patterns and covered in gold bands. This is of course closely linked to the mysterious green energy seen in the first and second trailers, and the spectral hand that appears to be sealing Ganondorf's remains in a cave. There's a shot of Link's right arm, complete with these bracelets, seemingly absorbing this energy. We can't say for sure yet, but if this shot of Malice covering Link's arm was enough to break the Master Sword, there's a good chance that it damaged or corrupted Link in some way too. So perhaps the green energy in these bracelets are meant to heal or repair his arm, or contain the evil energy that it absorbed. We also get a good look at the back of Link's right hand. In the E3 2021 trailer, when Link uses one of the game's new abilities to reverse the momentum of a spiked ball and roll it back up a cliff, we can see his right hand glow with a golden light. Link's no stranger to glowing right hands, Usually, this is a clear sign that the person wields the Triforce, or at least a part of it, with Link most commonly holding the Triforce of Courage. But this time, I don't think that's the case. If we zoom into the back of his hand, it appears that the golden light emanates from a different symbol. It's somewhat similar to a few different symbols that appear throughout the series, but nothing matches exactly. The Golden Light is of course incredibly similar to the power of Zelda's bloodline, the sacred power that she managed to unlock on the Night of the Calamity, both in colour and the small particles that surround it. This sacred power is assumed to have at least some of its roots in the power of the Triforce, as we can see its silhouette appear just as Zelda seals Dark Beast Ganon. But I think it's perhaps most likely that this hand symbol could relate to the mysterious glyphs found in the green energy in the first trailer, especially because these symbols spiral outwards from the hand wearing the bracelets that Link now does, and we know that Link's new arm can utilise this green energy in some form. These symbols, etched into darkness by the weaving movement of the green energy, have been poured over for countless hours by the entire Zelda community for years, to no major breakthroughs. 
but as pointed out by Kreis on Twitter, we can see symbols on the ground in the new clips that match the symbols carved into the ground in the shot of Link absorbing the green energy, which could line up with the symbols here too, though it's hard to tell. Perhaps, just like with Breath of the Wild's Sheikah hieroglyphs, we'll be able to fully translate these new glyphs into words and sentences. The golden light from Link's hand seems to match the glowing orb just in front of him, and it's what seems to trigger the Master Sword pulsing. So, whatever it is, it might be used to repair or enhance the Master Sword, just like the sacred flames from Skyward Sword. With the confirmation that the Master Sword is broken, and looking like it's been corrupted by Ganon in some way, this further adds to the idea that Link will journey through the skies seeking some sort of enlightenment or purification, possibly with the goal of restoring the Master Sword to its former might. There's a whole load of connections between what we see in the skies and Japanese Shinto shrines, meaning that these floating islands could be linked to the gods. Based solely on what we've seen so far, I'd say it looks likely that a central motivation for Breath of the Wild's sequel's story will be repairing and restoring the Master Sword in order to defeat the newly resurrected Ganondorf found deep below the castle. But we still don't really know what the green energy is, or what truly happens to Link's right arm. What could this new symbol mean, and does it connect back to the Triforce or Princess Zelda? Let me know your thoughts on the new footage and the delay. Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.